Um, I originally started out as a painter, um, and for whatever reason, I ended up switching over to photography about two years before I graduated uh, college. And so I, I really kind of worked more towards performance art with, with some stuff, and then I uh, ended up going more into documenting photography at the, the last year. So it's been a bit. It's been at least a good three or four years solely devoted to this kind of thing. And Clint actually invited me. So I, of course, said yes immediately. I thought that sounded like a really great idea, and I asked to shoot the early shift so that way I could still have some sunlight and everything. So. Well, what is it? Uh, tell me a little bit about the subject matter you choose for your photography. Um, well, generally, I, I shoot documentary work, and so I usually like to find people when they're you know, caught off guard or like in that, that moment. And so even though there weren't that many people at the very beginning registering and everything, I really tried to focus on trying to chase down people. And this time, you know, it was really, really obvious. And so it was, it was very different this time around. So, so I, I tried to shoot it with, you know, some of the more stuff that would be, you know, like, for example, some, some posed pictures and stuff, which usually I don't tend to do. But um, I usually tend to try and find that, you know, moment you know, when someone's like contemplating something or caught off guard, that sort of thing. And um, it just depends on what location I'm at, that sort of thing. So, so do you uh, use digital photography or, or you use film? Film. Film? Okay. I, I've shot digital. I just, you know, I'm one of those people. I like analog. I like, you know, physically having that film and yeah. being forced, you know, 36 pictures. You just got to get that image, you know. So. Well, lately I've been really, you know, trying to go to various places, you know, around the world. So in March I went to Norway, and that was really interesting. For whatever reason, I automatically stood out as foreign. But I think it was the ballet flats in the middle of winter, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm going to Venezuela in December. You know, it just really depends. I mean, some of the some of the stranger stuff tends to be, you know, like I did the state fair, and that that right there has got tons and tons of opportunities. You've got all sorts of different types of people. I saw some older ladies that were twin sisters that were really neat, and then this huge gaggle of Japanese students and stuff. So it's just all over the place. I know I'm going to try and go into grad school. I'm really interested in kind of having this sort of book format of, of trying to compare and contrast different places and different people in different situations and show how they're kind of all the same, even regardless of, of location and everything. So I, I'm hoping to continue going to, to new and exciting locations and, you know. Okay. So. Well, appreciate you talking about it. Thank you. This, this work was commissioned by City Arts Center, which was fantastic. It gave all me and Daisy and Carolyn an opportunity to come out and have free reign to use our artistic ability to document this event, which was a lot of fun and just, it was a different approach for each of us. And we had the opportunity to just do anything we wanted, which was fantastic. And presentation in shooting style and yeah, I took about 200 photographs, so it was pretty easy. I just wanted to go out and find people in action doing what they were doing and hopefully capturing a moment of their preparation or their deflation from the event and just like kind of recovering and just documenting it from beginning to end. And so I just would look for a pose or an action or like different, like the elements of somebody's arm or whatever. A lot of people would strike a pose for the camera, of course, you know, they're interested in, they see the camera and they'll do something and, um, but for the most part I like to just have them doing something natural or organic. I did that just for the documentary aspect of it. I, I thought that the black and white would lend more towards looking at the composition or the, um, or the action more than when, when color is used, it's so, the color becomes such an important part of it. And I chose black and white so it would have more documentary feel. That was it. For me, I when I carry my camera around with the intent of shooting, it, it is I am entirely looking for um, something very, uh, for lack of a better word, interesting to use. 
um, whether it's the composition or texture or repetition. I'm a big fan of looking for um, very organic shapes in man-made structures. I do a lot of architectural detail work, although my very, very favorite subject matter to do of everything is children. And I have a lot of friends with children and I love photographing them because with that you capture emotion and that watching kids at play or capturing you know specific moments in time so I have a lot of experience with people and shooting people um, with my camera <laughs> uh, but <laughs> but um, but with this it was different because it was an assignment but if I were to go out and do my own shooting it would architectural detail that's my favorite subject matter after kids yeah thanks well thank you thank you well the assignment was that um, each photographer would have a uh, time slot of, of the event which was the midnight streak so I had the um, I believe it was like 7 to 10 time slot which was the beginning of the fundraise and the 5k race well, what were some of the challenges well one your subject's running <laughs> and then the other one is that it's so dark we did it i think the first fun race or the fun run was at 10 30 and then um the 5k race was like at 11 or 11 15 so it's fairly dark so the use of flash you know that was important or not important whatever you chose to do um, I chose to use a slow sync flash so that I could capture motion because I thought that was important since it was a run. So you use film or digital? I use digital. Okay. Digital. Yes. And, and have you done film before? And I have. I have before. What are the main differences in that? Well, there's grain. Yeah. Um, I also think that you can get a larger print, you know, a richer print from digital. Um, that instant you can check your work as you're working so if you feel like okay am I getting this am I not getting enough of this you know details you know am I getting enough you can you know instantly look at your work and make adjustments from there also you can adjust your settings you know because you can look at your work instantly when I was first given the um, opportunity I thought oh how are we gonna do this and I thought you know just go out and have fun whatever happens happens and you have to just kind of uh, have that kind of mindset right. and, um, and and I knew I wanted to, to try to capture the motion and you know the you know the aspect of you know what is this about it's about running it's about feet it's about the physicality yes. it's about the exhaustion you know of the the runners and so I tried to capture that you know I think I got a little bit of everything you know I got runners before the race having fun conversation you know the actual race I was glad that I was able to get something out of the actual runners running you know their course um, you know getting and also the finish line I, that was exciting to be right there at the finish line to get those runners as they finish their race and um, so it was exciting well, thanks for thank you